In this video, I'm going to be discussing the do's and don'ts of where your money should be when it comes to racing motocross. Let's get into it. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Blake. I race motocross at an amateur level and I've been riding for about eight years now, so I've accumulated quite a bit of knowledge in just those eight years. I'm not a professional by any means, but I do have a little bit of knowledge that I could share with you guys. As I've accumulated my knowledge in the past years in this sport, I mean, I'm only 16, so I'm very fresh into this whole uh, money thing, so it's definitely new to me. But I'm still learning, just like we all are. We're all learning. Now let me tell you, and I think we all know this, if we have any peace of mind, is that racing is not cheap and it's definitely not affordable at all. I don't know if anything that's affordable anymore. It is important to know where our money is and what money we need to be spending and where, it needs, where our money needs to be going. So where we need to invest our money and what we should be doing with it. So let's say you have a thousand dollars and not a thousand dollars we need to invest throughout the 2024 race season and we have to do it smart. So we invest in our bike and our race fees which is going to cover a lot and we also have graphics, training, and food that we also have to take in consideration too. So let's do a little math here. So we're going to take a thousand dollars which is what we got in the beginning and we're going to subtract say 300 from that which is going to cover our bike maintenance and extra stuff that we might need for the bike this is just for an example it's not really realistic but subtract 300 dollars from that and we're going to subtract 300 dollars for gear and other miscellaneous stuff that we might need now we add all that together and that is going to give us around 600 dollars just give or take and that 600 dollars is already how much we spent out of our thousand dollar allotted amount so this just goes to show that it adds up very fast I'll make a whole other vid on gear another time because that is a long topic. These things are a money pit if you don't already know. 10 subject, need versus want. Now I think if you've been around for any amount of time and lived on this earth for any amount of time, we all know need versus want. And when we have our need and then we have our want, we have a big dilemma to face, face here. We need oil, gas, and parts for our bike and a bunch of other things in order to make it run and work properly on the track. And But then here comes society and we're like, oh, I want my bike to look good. I want this cool exhaust. And really, in the real world, we need to focus on our priorities first before we go and blow money on graphics, which is really easy to do. I'm, I've been someone that's done it and I've learned my lesson the hard way. So let's say I wanted to get graphics over here and a new exhaust over here. Now, first of all, I'd love to make my bike look sweet, put my own plastics on it, spend $400 in new plastics, new graphics, a full factory kit. I'd love to do that. But in reality, I'd rather get the pipe for performance first because if you think about it, graphics don't get us anywhere. They don't give us any extra horsepower unless you're Ronnie Mack and throw a sticker on there that's five extra horsepower because we know that. I'm not saying stress yourself out about the whole money deal because I know it can be super stressful. As long as you take the proper steps and know where your money's going, you'll be so much better off. Before you keep watching and before I go on with this video, I want to ask if you really enjoyed this video and if you are liking what you are learning, educating, what I'm teaching you, anything, anything of that sort positive, consider hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button most importantly. It'll help the algorithm and it'll um, recommend me more. One thing I like to use is I like to use my bike as like a business because I, at the end of the day, I want to take this really far. So I use my bike as, okay, well, I made X amount of money today. Say I made hundred bucks today. I'm going to put 50 bucks into a new sprocket that I can keep on hand. If I don't have one, a new chain, new, new, anything, something that I could have ready to go. So that way if something does go wrong, I have it and I'm not I'm not, oh, well, I can't have this because I spent my money on $300 in graphics a couple days ago, which is something I didn't really need, so. Whoa. Oh. Uh-oh. That spilled. If you liked watching this video and if you liked what you learned, if you learned something, drop a comment below. And if you made it this far, drop a comment, invest in the comments. So that way I know that you made it this far to the end of the video and it would mean a lot to me. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share the channel with your family and friends. We're so close to getting monetized, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, stay humble and keep grinding.